Hey folks, this is Game Master Mike, and this is going to be one of my question videos, and this time is that, should I start collecting um, boxes for old retro games like I have here from Sega Genesis all the way to the Game Boy Advance? Well, I have no um, boxed games for the NES and Nintendo 64. I got three here for the Super Famicom, but not for the Super Nintendo. And I was wondering that if I should, like, spend a little bit extra money to um, get the games complete. It, I don't care if they come with an instruction manual or not, as long I have the official box for it. Like, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which has a not for resale. Which means this came with a um, Model 2 Sega Genesis, I think. So, um, I don't care about that, but, um, as long as it's not the um, greatest hits or the player's choice, if it's like the original copy, like from the first label, I really do not care about that. So, um, the last video I did about this is, um, some of my sports games, which is for the Sega Genesis. Well, um, some of these I got out, um, that I have uh, complete in the box, like here's three Game Boy Advance games, because the most that I have um, boxed are my Game Boy Advance um, games, and I'm building up real quickly with my uh, box Sega Genesis games, as you can see, but um, I have not get, got any yet, but I'm going to order some soon. And I got Knuckles Chaotix for the 32X, along with three Sega Game Gear games that's complete. You got Sonic 2, Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble, and Sonic Blast. Those are um, wonderful. And Super Famicom, we got Fire Emblem Mysteries of the Emblem. And um, here's another one, um, another Fire Emblem game, which is the uh, fourth one, I think think, I'm not sure, and here's Dragon Quest 6, and I got other um, Game Boy Advance games that's complete in the box, I set these three out here for um, the examples, I got Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, and Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. So my question is that um, slowly but surely I am going to start collecting old retro box games, um, from like the NES to the Game Boy Advance, but the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 is going to be real hard to collect. That's complete in the box near mint because um, the values of the Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 games is still skyrocketing. Um, I think Mario Kart 64 and the Mario Parties for the Nintendo 64 are going for a ton of money. I think they're going for like hundreds of dollars, but I'm going to take that challenge real soon to see if I can find it much cheaper, whether if it has the uh, box but near mint, if it's like missing the instruction manual, the best I can do is buy it separately to um, save some money. I'm pretty sure that I can do that, but um, it's going to be worth a good shot. And so, folks, there you go. That is my question of should I collect um, retro box games, and the answer would be yes. I'm going to um, start saving up some money, and I'm going to start collecting some boxed games. As you can see, I do not have a lot, but I want to spruce up my collection to have a massive collection kind of the most ultimate collection, which I'm going to try to do. And so, there you go, folks. Um, cannot wait until I start this uh, progress real soon, and I want to keep you up to date about that, about how huge my boxed collection is going to be. And, well, folks, thanks for watching.